But look at the count. Good count, though. <laughs> well, for a step-by-step -step memorial estate planning, pre deed arrangements with affordable monthly installments called Arlen Sampson of Paradise to Peace at 2220419. For 17 years, Laura's been helping families with their funeral trust plans and cemetery property. So give Laura a call at 2220419. Still can't trip that four. Well, with a spare here, he'll be down by 40 pins. Not completely out of it. The game is still on. But he needs, he needs to figure out lane five on his next shot. Considering his first time on TV, doesn't seem like his first time on TV. Oh, got two matches under his belt. He's to figure out lane there five. Made a move. Wow. Yikes. What he needs to do, he needs to navigate away from that mid, mid lane hook that he's getting. He's changing his angle, but he's still crossing that same area. And once it hits it, it just left turn. Oh, another open frame. It's tough, but the ladies keep transitioning. And Thomas, Back right over the, the 12. Let's see what happens on lane five. I don't know if he threw a bad shot yeah. or his lane is changing a little bit. Well, he's this game well in hand. Uh, still needs to stay focused. He's going to have a match the next one. Very interesting. I think high scoring. Well, We're going to see a high scoring match next one. Well, Thomas has gotten lane five back. Uh, DJ switched to the ball that he shoots the spares with. That might be the answer. No. Or maybe not. <laughs> Actually, once again, historically, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right I, lane. I did. I did the same adjustment in in uh, league Friday night, where the shot kept breaking down, and I switched to a ball that went longer, and I stayed the same place. The longer ball hooked as much or more than the more hooking ball. Wow. So he needs to get off that spot. Uh, in bowling talk, uh, the players have burnt out a hole in the lane where the, all the balls meet in the mid lane mm -hmm. and there's no oil there. So you cannot hit that portion of the lane. Oh, okay. Bring his feet and his eyes left. Uh, he actually tightened that shot up. That was a nice one. But what do I know? A lot. Keep that further nice. in. <laughs> but really, I don't. It, uh, nothing to show for it. <laughs> you know the, what they say about people with opinions. No. What do they say? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you uh, can another say strike. Your pot of gold is still safe. Pot of gold still safe. <laughs> Thomas had that one hiccup in the sixth six frame, so I'm happy. <laughs> hey, we had a lot of close ones this today. Well, I was just going to mention that, you know, that the pot of gold is in jeopardy, and next thing you know, that's good. But we still have the next match. Thank you. 
Another nice shot, carrying the seventh in really well. And now, tournament coming leader. up, oh, tournament leader, James Kenteri. He's just laughing away. <laughs> he said he ate at Denny's last night. His bill was $19. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of food. Sounds like a lot of food. Okay, if Thomas finishes with a 266, that'll be the high gain, right? For yes. For TV. To start the season out for yeah. the... Um, for exhaust, exhaust system. Exhaust system. Oh, Rad Motorsports. You guys got to go check out Rad Motorsports, man. Set you up with some wheels. How about you, Shirley? Put some 22s on your... On your uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you have, an uh, Avenger? Put some 22s a on Stratus. there, a Stratus, <laughs> Stratosphere or whatever, and then put some loud exhaust and mm -hmm. put you in some shades and a sunroof. and They do alignment, so too. So I can act like I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like me. You know? Then you go, Hong Kong, gay Scott. <laughs> okay, well, Thomas finishes his game at 266. And finishing up, DJ... Well, good, good shooting for DJ today. It's kind oh, of really tough conditions definitely. today. One, two matches. So the next time he's gonna feel a lot more comfortable. He's gonna learn from this. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned a lot by bowling today. I'm not gonna bowl next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I know what not to do. <laughs> I think. <laughs> But then the lanes might not be the same next That's week. That's correct. That's correct. Hard to say. Okay, winner of our semifinal match, Thomas Sieg, 266 over DJ Taylor, 170. Stay tuned for our championship. But first, we have the answer to our Tricom Pro Shop Digital Question of the Week. Which is, what is the rarest score in bowling? And the answer is... A, 292. And today our tournament sponsor is lane number one, maker of the Buzzsaw Bowling Ball. Okay, we're back here at Poly Lanes for our championship match. Lane number one open. Scott Mitamura here. <laughs> Carolyn Kawano and Shirley Kato. And, and here we have Thomas Ching. Thomas Ching. And he'll be challenging our tournament leader, James Canteri. Should be an interesting match. Two lefties. Two top, tough lefties. Oh, they're a red hot today. Well, Thomas starts out with a... High hit, the 2-4. So now, see, it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen. Cause James had his eight practice shots on the lane. And I'm just wondering if James is playing inside of Thomas's line. Thomas's first shot grabbed early. Could he have changed his, his, his shot already? We shall see. James currently averaging 240, which is his lifetime high. 26 300 games, 12 800 series. Oh. Pocket shot, left the seven. Well, pot of gold is safe for today. High series of 849. 27 times on TV and five titles. I guess that's all you think about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> One of uh, the main what, things. Well, <laughs> exactly. We got good bowlers like this on TV. The pot of gold is always in jeopardy. And, and taking a look at the alignment that James is playing, he's playing the same line as Thomas. Well, strike up Pro Shop. They're located in the Stewart Plaza, 941 Kamehameha Highway, which is right next to Cutter Dodge Pro City. Here you find a huge showroom full of all the hottest new bowling merchandise called Dan McGuangan Jr. at 456-8733 or visit the website at www.strikeumproshop.com. Pick some up. 
and good. The two bowlers got their spares out of the way. They can strike all they want now. <laughs> we want to see it. Well, with Thomas's earlier game of 266, he's averaging 248 for today. Oh, average going up. Sure is. Wow, great shot by nice. Thomas. They're playing the shot just about identical. But if you notice, in, in the last match, Thomas's ball was hitting the, some half pocket hits and he's sweeping the ten, seven minutes. Watch how high flush this one goes. Mm -hmm. He's actually high flush now, so his, his ball is grabbing the lane earlier. He's going to have to make a small adjustment. He left the 4-7, right, in the first uh, frame. Oh, oh, the two. He left the two four. Oh, the two four. Now he leaves the two seven. Things can sure change. Yeah, definitely getting a change on the left lane, but not as drastic on the right lane. Correct. Oh. oh. And, and, you know, Thomas had such a great look last game. Yes. He comes on. And all of a sudden, the shot's mm -hmm. gone. Oh, wipe out lawn equipment and bowling supply. A one-stop shop for all of your lawn equipment and bowling needs. We are located across the street from City Mill in Waipahu. Call Terrence Shelley or Storm staff member Keith Odette at 677-1071 or visit their website at WaipaoLawnEquipment.com. Well, James had games today of 247, 243, 258 for a 748 series. He went on to defeat Darren Niesman, 192 to 192. And there he won his match for that tie. And then he went to defeat Chad Pohas, 289 to 247. Wow. Well, James stepped up and threw a big double on that split by Thomas. But no, James got lucky during that match play, winning the tie. Well, you know, that's <laughs> a lot of times, uh, you know, things need to fall your way. No, they don't it, fall your it way. It usually evens out, though, you know, <laughs> like the saying Says goes, who? you win some, you lose some. The trouble is bowlers only remember the ones they didn't win. <laughs> Tom is coming back with a strike. I, uh, gang, did you are you guys taking notes here? Um, no. Thomas changed ball. Yes, I we saw that. that. Yes. <laughs> we oh. just wanted to see if you would say it. Oh, <laughs> was keeping was was thinking. Oh, let's see. Is it is Scott paying attention? Oh, of course. Okay. Always. Right on the money then. Might be sleeping, but. But these bowlers sure do know their equipment. Well, that's a big part of the game. You know, you could. Throw the ball really well. You can, but if you're not lined up right or if you're not throwing the right equipment, big trouble. I think bowling was easy, huh? <laughs> Says Just it. throw the ball down the lane. <laughs> not quite. Still having Still problems. Still high on lane, lane five, yeah. Well, he went, he had a solid ball with surface. He went to a pearlized ball with less surface. Same result. The 2 4. 900 Global is Hawaii TV Bowling's newest contender in the bowling ball market, making innovative bowling balls for the serious bowlers like Walter Ray Williams or even the recreational bowler. So give 900 Global a try, available at various area pro shops. James Parkinata. Turkey. Oh, there's your spam. spam. Well, you got two spams today. See, if you look at how the two bowlers differ, mm -hmm. they're both they're playing about the same line, yeah. but James has the loft. But Thomas is a roller. He yeah. rolls the ball, so his ball is going to read the lane earlier. Uh, James has a little bit more ball speed, and he'll toss it down the lane. So he eliminates what maybe 